How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Your hamstrings play a key role when you're lifting big and actively contribute to your daily routine, whether you be walking, sitting, or doing anything in between. Unfortunately, they often get a bad reputation of being tight. Why is this the case? And is there a quick and simple solution to this problem? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. First, let's talk about the most likely reason as to why your hamstrings are tight in the first place. When your hamstrings aren't flexing your knee or extending your hip, they also play an important role keeping your pelvis stable via posterior pelvic tilt. In addition to your hamstrings, there are a few other muscles that play key roles in tilting your pelvis, namely your glutes, hip flexors, and abdominal muscles. When you spend an excessive amount of time sitting or do not actively train these muscles, muscles, your hamstrings start to stretch, but not the good kind of stretch. Think of it like a tug-of-war matchup with your hamstrings against your hip flexors and abdominal muscles, and they are losing. Eventually, your hamstrings and glutes get to a point where they can't lengthen any longer without risking serious damage. So to put an end to this war, they become stiff. Your stretched and stiff hamstrings, in combination with your shortened and stiff hip flexors, create the perfect storm for causing a torn muscle, decreasing hip mobility, or promoting hip dysfunction down the road. So to put things simply, tight hamstrings are usually a symptom of a much bigger problem related to the hips. So what is a quick and easy way to correct this? Let's take a closer look. Doing passive stretching on the hamstrings will help a little bit, but at the end of the day, you're just putting a band-aid on a much bigger problem. To really make an impact, you need to get all of your pelvic muscles engaged and loose. Try this pelvis reset method, which takes less than a minute to complete. Start by keeping your legs straight and touching your toes. Note roughly how far you got during this phase. From there, grab a foam roller and perform an elevated hip bridge. Extend one leg and flex that hip as far as you can while keeping your hips high. Alternate on each side two or three times, and once you're done with that, retest your hamstring flexibility. If done correctly, you should notice an instant difference compared to your initial test. You can also try using the pancake stretch as a way to test and retest hamstring flexibility if you so choose. Remember, tight hamstrings are usually a symptom of hip instability, and it's always better to find the root of the cause instead of just fixing symptoms. How tight are your hamstrings? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and stay strong.